actually going. Or maybe you should be like in front. Hi guys. Recently in the Vlogster hemisphere, there's been some talk about light beer. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm on my way to 7-Eleven. I'm gonna be checking out the selection of light beers and then I'm gonna be seeing if I can't taste test a few of them and give my own two cents on the situation. See you guys in a minute. I'm just staring at my empty cans that sprawled across my floor. I'm smoking dope in empty cans I got from corner stores. There's broken glass from broken pieces lying in my sink. I'll wash them down with water, getting harder any place. I'll hang with this old healing chain and like another friend. We'll sit and watch some YouTube videos for saying it. We'll feed a dog and playing, looking at a new veneer. The end of the night in covers, whisper nothing's in my ear. Don't say as far as I look as I find. Okay, so I have four kinds of light beer. They're only selling battery packs at my local 7-Eleven. I have a lot of light beer on the premises, so I'll see you back at the house. That's much better. First of all, Miller Light. Second of all, Coors Light. Third, Michelob Ultra. Lastly, Bud Light. So, first category is gonna be branding. So I'm gonna be taking a look at each bottle, or can I should say, these are tall cans, and I will be letting you know which one I find to be most attractive. Okay, now checking all of these out, I think it's pretty easy to pick out my favorite and that would be the Miller Lite. Um, I think Colin in his video mentioned like walking into a party with any of these beers and I think that Miller Lite just looks, this looks like a nice beer. I'm so number one, I'm gonna go Miller Lite for the branding. I think it's, it's not a tough decision. Second, um, something cool to consider, the Michelob has two different sides. So you can decide, do you wanna be a blue presenting Michelob drinker? Or do you wanna be a white presenting Michelob drinker? And I kind of like the color scheme on the Michelob. I like the blue side more. I like the color scheme. It has kind of a European feel, maybe like a little bit French or Italian or something. Wow, that's, that's very different from the regular one. As you might have guessed, I'm gonna go with the Michelob for the second place. Now for third place, uh, I gotta go with Coors, the mountain. Um, it's just a, it's a really cool print and I wish that it was bigger. This Coors light logo itself, I really, I don't think is very attractive. And the gray bottle is not that appe appealing. I think the shorter cores looks better than the tall cores. The cores light design gets exposed by having all this dead space up here, negative space. Um, so for that reason, I'm putting cores in third place. Sorry if that's a controversial one. Um, I know that it turns blue or something when it's really cold, but I don't care that much. It's just, it's not an excellent looking can in my opinion. It's too much gray. And then lastly, obviously the Bud Light. I mean, it's hard to separate Bud Light from its disgusting marketing strategy that it's gone with. It's just ugly. It reminds me of fat people watching football. Totally uninspired and shitty. Bud Light just has terrible branding. My next category that I'm gonna be doing out of three categories, rating the beer based off of the color. If you were to be served this beer in a glass, which beer has the most beautiful golden color to it? Starting off with the Miller here because I rated that the highest for the aesthetics. Oh, this is a faint looking one. Looks a bit champagne-like to me. The Coors. Sorry about this pour here. It's not a very handsome pour. Okay, so left to right, this is Miller, Michelob, Coors, and Bud Light. Hey, Amy, you think you could 
put your flashlight like behind them. You know, I, I actually, I don't think it works. This is, this is a nice looking beer. I mean, I could look at that all day. That's, that looks appetizing to me. This is the Miller Lite. I think that looks great. I think that looks really nice. I mean, I could just go for a swim in that. That that looks amazing. I love that. Okay, next. So compared to the Miller, this isn't quite as gold. Some condensation on here, let me wipe that off. It's a little bit more of a pea color, a little bit of a greenish tint. So I think the Michelob is a little bit worse looking than the Miller. Okay, this is a pretty nice, nice beer. I'm gonna give this a tap but it doesn't quite look as nice to jump into. This is the cores. It doesn't look quite like I wanna go for a swim in it just as much as I did the Miller Lite, but I do, I, do like, I do like the color on this one. Okay, then the bud, I think the bud is pretty strong. Oh yeah, that bud's looking good. Wait, let, me, let me go back and make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bud's looking good. I think the bud might be the bud is good. The bud looks good. Yeah, I like how that bud, that just looks like a classic beer. So I'm gonna compare the Miller. Oh, that Miller looks amazing. That Miller is just gorgeous. Okay, so it's Miller first. I mean, I, I think it's, there's no doubt about it. The Miller gets first. The bud is great. The, the bud's good, but it's, it's no Miller. It's no Miller. So I'm gonna put the bud in second. Miller first, bud second. Okay, the Michelob is looking, the Michelob, the structure of the Michelob is good, but um, but the, the color's just not there. That green, greeniness. I'm gonna have to go with the cores for third place. I The cores looks more appetizing to me. So cores third place um, for the appearance. All right, guys, so the last thing that I'm gonna be doing, taste test. I'm gonna change it up and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with last place loser. I'm gonna go with the Michelob first. So I'm gonna try two different ways. I'm gonna try taking a drink from the cup and then I'm gonna try taking a drink from the can. That's not bad. I like the Michelob. Oh. The Michelob is definitely better from a glass. If you've got Michelob, I would 100% drink it from a glass. Much smoother from the glass. And that might be a consistent theme here. The difference is when you drink it from the can, you just get a bunch of air with it, and it kind of messes up the uh, the smoothness of the beer. I'm gonna go with the cores now. Cheers. This doesn't taste hugely different, but this tasted like memories to me. I've had I've had some cores in my day. This is not as good from the can as it is from the glass, but it's a lot better than the Michelob was from the can. Man, that's tough. This is the, the cores is just so modest. I mean, there's not there's nothing even there's nothing even remotely offensive about the cores. The cores is just like, it's a straight shooter. The cores is really solid. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. There's something different about the Bud Light. It has like a sourness and it doesn't, it's not in a good way. I've said this before about Bud Light, and I still maintain that opinion, is that it tastes like it has soy sauce in it. It's not excellent. So far, I think it's the weakest of the three. Mm -hmm. Truth is, they're all very, very similar. So this is, these are small differences, but, oh, it's just not, it's just not up to par. Okay, now, with the current leader, with two out of three category wins, the Miller Lite, so let's see if it holds up in the most important category. Oh, whew. that light beer, man, it's already kicking in. Hmm, 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 hmm. Interesting, it's kind of got like a, tastes a little chocolatey at the end there. Like, like a dark chocolate. You know what, it, it's kind of like a fat tire or is it a flat tire? 
but you know what beer I'm talking about. That beer is very, that beer is very different, and it has this weird, like, chocolatey, thick taste to it, and I think a Miller has a little bit of that going for it. Yeah, n not bad. Let me just move this out. Michelob's number one in taste, which is the most important category, ultimately. Now, these are the runners up right here, and the main difference between the two is Coors is the safer pick. There's no question about it. The Coors, like I've been saying, it does it does nothing wrong, and it does it does some things right. Okay, the Miller, the Miller is a little. It, it has some more originality to it. It takes some more risks, but I gotta go with Coors Light at number two, or do I? No, Miller Light number two. It's Miller. Miller Light is the second best beer here. Number one, Miller. Number two. Coors, number three, and Bud Light, number four.